Greetings! I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm going to paint these T26s from Minerons that I assembled a while ago. There should be a link to that video here. In my opinion, these weren't the best models, but I wanted to see how they'd look painted up and how much it might improve their appearance. I didn't really feel it was worth it to spend hours doing the most detailed painting. Rather, I'm just going to give them a quick paint job. That's the Soviet way after all. I primed them with Vallejo Black Surface Primer through my airbrush. After leaving the primer to cure for a while, I then applied Vallejo Model Air White on the topmost surfaces of the hull and turret. This is meant to create a kind of highlight as though the sun is directly above the vehicle. I then apply Model Air Russian Green. I do this in thin coats so the white layer is not completely obliterated, which would obviously ruin the highlight effect I was going for. I think I achieved this fairly well. You can see the sides of the model are slightly darker than the top. Next I made a mix of three parts Russian Green and one part Vallejo Model Color Buff, and then I roughly dry brush this mix on all the edges of the tank, including the suspension bits on the sides. The turret also receives this treatment of course. I then applied some gloss varnish to the turret sides, and then applied the Soviet stars from the decal sheet that came with these tanks. The decals are pretty good and went on easily. Next, I apply some chipping. Just as I do for most tanks I paint, I used a rough mix of about three parts of a layer model color black grey to one part model color mahogany. I simply dab it on using a piece of scrap packaging foam from an old blister pack. I just roughly apply it to all areas of the tank, though mostly on edges where it makes sense for the paint to be scratched off. I'm just doing a quick job here so I wasn't focusing too much and didn't bother adding extra scratches with a brush in the areas the foam can't reach. I then painted the tracks using Vallejo Model Color Black Grey thinned appropriately. Be sure to get all the track edges and the inner parts. Also paint the little road wheels, being careful to leave the arm things that hold the wheels green. I'm sure the inner portion of the road wheels should be green too, but it didn't seem worth the headache. At this time, I also painted the tools. These two shovels and this axe over here. There are two more tool-like bars modeled on the tank, but I've left them green. Next, I mixed some army painted dark tone about 50-50 with water and applied it to the entire tank. I focused this quite heavily on the suspension gear and tracks. And of course, don't forget the turrets. Unfortunately, at this point, my camera messed up and I was unwittingly recording at 360p. So I'll just zip through the rest real quick. I dry brushed some model color London gray on the tracks and road wheels. It's okay to get a bit on the suspension gear too. Then I applied another mix of 50-50 dark tone and water to the tracks and suspension gear only. I then painted the handles of the shovel and axe with model color beige brown and then applied undiluted army painter strong tone to the handles. I then lightly sprayed the lower portion of the hull with Vallejo model air mud brown to add an appearance of a bit of mud and dust. I then did the same a bit lighter with model air light brown. I then sprayed a coat of AK interactive ultra matte varnish and the tanks were done. Here is the finished product. I think these are good enough for the tabletop. They'll obviously perform better in a game than unpainted models, that's just how it works. But I wouldn't say these are the best tanks that I've painted. This was a quick and kind of rough job after all, and as such I'm happy enough with how they've turned out. Paint has improved the appearance of these models a little bit. They still don't look super great, they're kind of rough, but they're good enough. There's nothing wrong with doing a rough and quick paint job for tabletop models, especially if you're probably not going to use them much, which is the case for me. I spent maybe three hours painting all five tanks, though spread out over a number of weeks, which I think is pretty reasonable. Of course, the more neater job you want to do, the longer it's going to take. There's a list of all the paints that I've used in the description below. Hopefully this video has been helpful or interesting for you. If you have any comments, leave them below. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching. Farewell.